this class we will study about the HDL models for combinational circuits. How to design with the given three different types of modeling. There are three different that is a gate level modeling. First one that is data flow modeling and behavioral modeling. We will see one by one how we can design. Now hard, hardware description language all of you know already it is what exactly. Now gate level modeling will be used for a predefined uh, as well as the user defined primitives. It can be applied for either predefined as well as the user defined primitive gates. That is why we are calling it as a gate level modeling. Second one is a data flow modeling used continuous assignment statement. Now with the keyword as assigned, if the boolean expression is there then we can use with this. Next behavior of modeling using with the procedural assignment statement with the keyword always. Depends upon that we need to know how to de uh, design with the three different types of modeling. Now see one by one first we will go for the gate level modeling. How to design? Now here we have uh, two different types of uh, gate level modeling. Now we are uh, taking the example. Uh, now already you know uh, you have implemented with the gate level modeling with the user defined as well as the uh, predefined primitives. Because I have told in the module 1 it is already covered. Still some more uh, in what we can do in the implementation. Okay. For example if you have any inputs or any outputs more than one bits then we will represent with either array or the vector. Now because of that how to specify either array or vector in the HDL format. Whatever you are defining with the either variable now you have to define either input variable or it may be output variable you need to define that variable here uh, the keyword. And after that you have to specify which variable is having that is a more than one bits defined with the vector or array we will call within the square bracket. We will define it is a uh, first it starts with zero colon and what is the last range that is starting what it is indicates it is a left most significant uh, sorry uh, most significant bit. This one is the least significant bit. Now we will call D will uh, uh, accept with the 0 through 3. It indicates 0 through 10, uh, 3 because it takes the 4 bits 0, 1, 2, 3. Because of that we are calling D is accepting with 4 bits. The second one, one more with the wire we have used the keyword. Now here it is having 7 is to 0. It is defined with totally 8 bit. Now 7 through it is 0. Now it is in uh, reverse format. Here least significant is uh, 0 and most uh, significant is 7. Depends upon that how it accepts 7 through 0. Now declaration of vector uh, we know how to represent. Now how we can implement in our programming so we will see there. Now here we have it is a one example I have taken it is a ripple carry adder. Now how it performs with the gate level I have taken with the gate level modeling. Okay gate level description for the 4 bit binary ripple carry adder. Here uh, we are adding both I told that gate level includes with predefined primitives as well as the user defined primitives. Okay, now all of you know that adder means we know first if we are writing with half adder. Half adder instruction will be first we need to find a sum as well as the carry. Now you know the equation already you have studied in the hardware part. Okay, how we have calculated if x and y because I have taken here x and y. I will take the input as a x, x or y. What is the sum equation we will get? x, x or y. What is the carry equation? x, y is the carry equation. Now depends upon that. I need to implement first as a half adder module. I am defining the module name 
as a half adder in that we have to specify what are inputs as well as the output output is defined by sum as well as the carry two variables i have used input is defined by x and y end with the semicolon okay port list is over then we have to specify with here only i have given directly as a input output no need to again specify with that i can call because it is performing with xor operation i can take a great uh, predefined gate primitives xor yes is our output because you see there whenever you are using any gate uh, primitives then you have to specify first output then followed by as a input sum is performing with the xor operation yes comma xy end with the semicolon same thing for carry and carry will be output so inputs are x and y now we have written for the half adder now i want to make because it is a four bit four bit means i am using as a vector because of that i am writing it should be taken with the care of again full adder now i need to write for the full adder again output is sum and carry inputs are x y z now all of you know that if you have one more sum will change with the what carry will be added what now i have to add x x or y x or z now normally we will write here i am using not the great gate primitives because gate primitives is over now i will make with the primitive uh, that is user defined primitive already i have defined this is a user defined primitives that i am using as a instantaneous here okay that's why module will be contains with wire named with s1 c1 as well as the c2 now depends upon that we have to write what full adder performs now these are uh, we are taking as a uh, carry over here and some will be generated here because uh, main you will get uh, yes will be our first half adder will be considered with s1 and c1 as a carry x and y are the inputs next half adder will takes with yes our main uh, sum will be what i have written here and carry will be c2 and s1 will be one input and because this will be stored in s1 s1 is added with z because of that input will change because this i am denoting as a s1 here now depends upon that it takes s1 is one input another input will be z now uh, to carry over this whatever it is generated the carry it should be passed to another bit another for half adder because of that we have taken here as a or gate or gate with g1 i am taking as a instance and we will generate the main carry with c1 as well as the c2 whatever either 0 or 1 it will produce to a main carry now end with this module now we have written half adder full adder now to make that four bit representation vector we are considering that is a module with a ripple carry bit now output is represented by as a sum with four bits zero now we are representing 3 to 0 now uh, what is the carry c4 and what are the inputs again 3 to 0 a and b are the input first main and c because full adder is having three inputs a b and carry also now depends upon that we have written what the vector contains literally we need to define the which are the intermediate connection because we will draw with the two full adder wire connection c1 c2 c3 should be taken next full adder now we are writing here in instance uh, stainless uh, what we are calling as a name fa0 okay for full adder i am i am calling this function here because of that i need the instance of that full adder first bit that's why i am representing by fa0 then we can call sum of first bit i have to represent now because of that we are taking zero c1 a of 0 b of 0 and c0 same thing i need to apply for the next bit then fa1 sum 1 change how we have changed here as a one 
it should be changed in the all. Here it is a carry is 0, carry is 1. Here carry will be 1, here it changed to carry will be 2. Remaining it uh, represents with 1 bit. Here all are again 2. Only here C2 means it will make C3. Here it is C1 means it is C2. In the last vector. Now we are making third bit. It is represented with all are 3. Where uh, 3 is there make here conversion as a 4. And it is here 2. It should be made with 3. Now depends upon that. It will execute with vector what I have shown in the previous uh, slide. Oh, because of that here we have used with how vector can be represented. With the data flow modeling. It is combined with in uh, that is a gate instantaneous as well as the pre uh, whatever you are using user defined primitives also here also i have used user defined primitives here also i have used with user defined primitives ha1 is also as an instance for the what we have defined for the half adder now this will execute with the full adder with four bits okay now I think all of you have followed how to use with the full adder taking with vector representation. Next we will go with a three state uh, that is what we are calling three states gates means the, we know only two inputs should be given either in the zero format or it is in one format. Now you can give another two inputs that is one is called as a X another is called as a Z. Okay, X all of you know that it is either 0 or 1. Z is as impedance. Okay, now all of you know that. Depends on that, we need to know how to use with the 3 state. Because of that, we are using with, that is a buffer. Depends upon that, we can define the tri-state gates. Now, here I have taken here two examples. That is a buffer. If it is 1, what happens? I am giving 3 here. Okay, how it executes, if out is, at whatever A is transferred to out, when control value will be defined as 1. When control value will be 1. Otherwise, it will be considered with, out will be indicated with the Z impedance and control will be 0 in that case. Now, another one that is not if 0. What happens here? Whenever Y is Z, that is impedance, Y is impedance, enable line will be 1 because it is taken with 0 condition because of that if Y, now it is in Z, that is impedance, then enable line will be 1. If enable line is 0, Y is equal to B dash. Now that is what it executes with the given instruction. Now how to use the tri-state? With example, here one we have used the uh, try state with the gates uh, taking with the 2 to 1 multiplexer. Okay. Now because of that I have considered it should be present with three states. 2 to 1 multiplexer, all of you know that how we are representing 2 to 1. Here two inputs will be there. Here one select lines. This is called a select lines. Here you will have a input. Now, depends upon that, you will get one output. Now, here, for this MUX representation, I am taking inputs are A and B. Okay. Now, here, select line will be considered this one. And this output is represented by as a M out. Depends upon that, I have defined a keyword that is module. What is the module name? MUX. Because of uh, try, I am using. That's why I am writing. It is a try. Max out is the output variable. A, B as well as select lines are inputs. I have defined the port list in with semicolon. Now next I have to define what is the output. Output is defined by M out. And inputs are defined by all the three. A, B, select. Then I am uh, telling that we are using the. It is a try state buffer. Because of that I have to use the keyword compulsory here as a try. Okay. It is a new data type. That. Whatever the output, the target output will be stored here. That's why we are writing try em out should be as a, our main output. Buffer, if it is 1, what happens? m out value will be a. 
when m out is equal to a, select value will be 1. Because buffer if 1 I have taken. Because of that, when the select value is 1, m out will be assigned with a. Buffer if 0, what happens? We are taking if m out is equal to b, select value will be 0. Now, depends upon that, we are writing how the try can be taken in our consideration. Okay, three inputs are there. In that case, we are using with the try state gates and with the module. Depends upon that, it will assign. It is also used with our, that is what we are calling it is a gate level only. Now, depends upon that, we are applying with the buffer is also one of the Next, we will go for the data flow modeling. What is exactly data flow modeling? Now, if you are using with any Boolean expression, can be defined by a data flow modeling. Continuous assignments, it may be present using with the key, call it as a assignment. Now, depends upon that, whenever assignment uh, statement is there, that is a Boolean expression, we should know some of the operators. Some of the operators we have listed here and we know already these are used earlier in the HDL module 1. Now we will know some of them which are not used that is a concatenation and conditional. These are not used in the module 1. We will see that how to use these operators in data flow modeling. Now we will see that how it exactly executes. Now depends upon that. We are assuring that a variable declared with a 2 to 1 max. Okay. I am taking it is a 2 to 1 max. Previously only I have defined. What is a 2 to 1 max? I am de defining two inputs are here and one select lines and one output. That's why we are calling it is a 2 to 1 max. Okay. Now depends upon that we will take. A and B are given as a input. That's why I am taking A and B are the input. S is our select line. Y is our output. Okay. It is a continuous assignment statement. How I am defining continuous assignment statement? Using with assign is the keyword. What is our equation? Y is equal to assign. Okay. When select line is 0, then it may execute with a. Okay. Then I will write here A, whatever the value and ampersand. Because when this is 0, it is represented by 0 and this is represented by 1. Now because of that, we are representing A and and yes or it may execute another expression B and and yes. Now that is what we have written because if it is 0, yes may be 0 I am considering that's why and operation depends upon that it will execute or it may be B and and yes. Now we will execute with the using assign is the keyword. Now same thing how you can implement with declaring the assignment is over in the module because we have to write complete program. Okay, now because of that HDL data flow uh, model contains with 4 bit adder. I am taking here example as a, here I have taken with as a multiplexer. 2 to 1 multiplexer I have shown how to write. This all of you know how to write the content. Later you have to write this should be changed in your assignment statement. Now here I am taking another example of the uh, data flow model. That contains 4-bit adder. 4-bit adder, what exactly it does? Okay. Now I am specifying again module. What is the name of the program? I am writing it is a binary adder. With open the parenthesis, I have to list all the port. Now, depends upon that. Again, I am specifying with the vectors because normal we know how to do. We will go with how to make the addition uh, for the 4 bit adder because of that output is represented by a 4 bit 0 to 
3, then we are representing in the square bracket. It is a vector. What is the variable? Sum, comma, output, another, that is a C out. Because you will get sum as well as the carry. Because of that, I have to write sum as well as the carry. Next, we need to declare which are the input variables. Input variables, again, it is a 4 bits means I have to take, again, vector 3 is to 0, represent in the square bracket. Which are the two inputs? A and B are the two inputs. Next, one more input, carry also we have to consider. Because of that, I will take C in is another input. Now, close the parenthesis. We have declared all the input as well as the output variables end with the semicolon. Now, I am using special operator. I told that some of the operators which we have. Here, I am using the concatenation operation. Because we should know how to apply the concatenation operator. Assign is a keyword because data flow will be represented with the assign is a keyword. What I am representing, I am taking it as a concatenation. Concatenation can be written with the, whatever the uh, variables are they separated with the comma in curly braces. Okay, we need to write operands with separating comma in the curly braces. That uh, takes it as a concatenation. Because uh, we will get here four sum values and one carry value. Totally we will get five bits. Because of that I cannot write in single assignment. I can use concatenation. Using concatenation you can make represent all five bits in one line. Because of that, I have taken concatenation as a operator. It will store 4 bits of sum value as well as the 1 bit carry. Okay. Next, equals to. What it does? Because we have here again 4 bits of A as well as the 4 bits of B. And C in whatever carry generates, we need to pass to every bits. Because of that, I am taking here arithmetic operators. Because you know that arithmetic operators also I have defined in the slides here which are the binary addition as well as the binary subtraction. That is only I have taken here to implement this uh, expression using with A plus B plus C in and with the semicolon. 4 bits of A, 4 bits of uh, B as well as the C in will be taken. Added and it will be stored in sum as well as the carry. End the model. This we need to represent with the vector as well as the special two operators I have used. One is concatenation, another is binary addition. Depends upon that we have implemented in the form of data flow modeling. Okay, I think all of you have followed how to write with the special operator, call it as a concatenation. Okay, now next we have one more. I told that in the operators we have special that is a conditional operator. We will see that how to use a conditional operator. How we need to represent in our HDL. Whatever I am representing, it is a conditional operator which has the uh, three uh, operands. That is one is condition, another is true expression, another is false expression. Because of that we are calling it is a three operands. Condition. When the condition is true, it will evaluate the logic value is one, then it will evaluate the true expression. When the condition is logic 0, then it goes for evaluates the false expression. This is the format how we need to write in our HDL. Now, how we can write this in the program format? We can see our assign is the statement. Okay? Because we have to use the data flow model only. Because of that, we should know how to use the assign. Assign, now I am taking one keyword that is a out is equal to a select question mark A 
is to B. Okay, that is the conditional statement because you see there conditional is written with this condition true and false. Same thing I have written here out is equal to this is the what I am applying for the conditional. This is condition if it is true it will evaluate with A. If it is false it will evaluate with B. Now what happens is specifies the condition what is assigned to A that is out whatever you are taking out is assigned to A if select line is 1. If select line is 0 then it goes it will select with the out value will be B. Now that is what we are showing using with the conditional operator. Now one example we can see in our data flow model. What exactly says here data flow model? It is a 2 to 1 multiplexer I am using. Again 2 to 1 all of you know that how we are using. Again we need to say same thing we are using. Here 2 to 1 max will be given. 2 inputs and 1 select line and 1 output here. Okay. Now same thing here I am specifying one input as a A, another input B, this is a select line, this is our out. Okay. Now which we are specifying output. Now it is defining with 2 to 1 multiplexer. Define the module. Name of the module I am writing max 2 to 1. It is we are defining data flow model. That's why I am writing df. It indicates m out. That is a output of this. And inputs are a, b as well as the select line. Port list is written. End with the semicolon. Now our output whatever we are considered. Now here main output is m out. I have to specify m out. End with the semicolon. Then define the other inputs. A and B are the main inputs. One is we are calling it is a control in input. That is I have written here separately. You can include there also. No problem. Now writing separately also. No problem. Next I have to define the keyword. Because of data flow model I am using as a assign is the keyword. Okay. Now what we are finding m out is equal to I am using the conditional operator because of that m out is equal to select because I am putting the question mark. Now a colon b end with the semicolon. A select value is 1 means it selects with a. Select value will be 0 means it selects with b. Same thing if else whatever true false that can be reduced writing in single line assignment. That's why we are using with the data flow modeling and the module. Now I think all of you have followed with how to write the data flow model for example writing for adder as well as the multiplexer. Both I think it is clearly understood with the data flow model as well as the gate level model. Next we will go with another model call it as a behavioral model. Okay. Here we have a third one call it as a behavior model. Behavior model represents circuit at functional as well as the arithmetic level. Okay. Now it is, uh, it is used for combinational as well as the uh, checking with the behavior of the sequential. The key is used mainly as a always. Always is very very important. It is followed by a control expression. Always is followed with as a at symbol. After that you may define some of the variables here. And it should not terminate with the semicolon. Remember it should not Terminate with the semicolon. It will execute every time when the value is assigned for any new in that particular 
inputs. Here we will define some input variables. Depends on that if you change any value then it will execute every time. It will check whether it has changed. Now depends upon that. Every time it is executing always. That's why name is called as a always. Always will have one uh, special symbol called as a get followed by some whatever the control expression or it may be having its variables and it should not terminate with the semicolon that you have to remember okay assign can terminate with the, it is a semicolon always cannot terminate with the semicolon now because of that we have to take whenever you are defining always then we have to use one main keyword that is called as a register compulsory we have to use register when you are using the always what that indicate whatever the output we need to store in our register okay register will not change when you assign a new value then only it will change its content until then it will not change its value because of that we are using in our behavioral model that is one special call it as output the target output whatever we are storing in a new variable call it as a register okay now depends upon that we should know how to write our that's why register is a data type it retain its value until a new value is assigned what i have explained now here one example we are considering that is a behavioral of 2 to 1 line multiplexer. Same. Now we know that how to define. Now same thing. Model is defined as a model name. Again I am defining mux 2 to 1. It is a behavioral model. I have used BH. Okay. That indicates it is showing with it is using as a behavioral model. What are the port list contains we have to define. Again we have to specify what are the output variables as well as the input variables. Output variable is M out and input variables are A, B and select. It is end with the semicolon. Now next we have to separately define by what are the output. Output is M out. Inputs are A, B and select and I told that because we are writing behavior model the output should be stored compulsory in the register because of that we have to write register m out m out should be stored in our register that's why I have to define compulsory this in the behavioral model when we are using behavioral we have to use the keyword always okay Always is having special symbol I have shown. That is a at. At should be used. And we have to specify the values. Depends on that M out value will be changed. What are the uh, input value? It makes the change for the M out. Now A or B or select. That's why it is a single a is either 0 or 1. B is either 0 or 1. Select is also either 0 or 1. Because of that, we should know it is only single value. I can use directly as a OR operator just. Okay. Either A or B or select. Now, if select is equal to, I am using one more special operator that is equality. Still now, we have not used in any of the program. That is equality. Okay. Checking with the equal condition. Okay. Now it is called as a like a relational operator. Checking with the. Now because of that if statement I have used. Now I am checking with. Till then we have not used the if statement also. That's why I have taken if select is equal to 1. What will be the M out value? M out will be assigned with the. A or it may it is uh, if this condition is not true yes part it will go with this is equal sign not a for you it is mistake now else m out is equal to p what 
Either it selects A or it selects B, any one. M or the value. If select is equal to 1, then it will execute with the M or value will be 1. Yes, M or value will be B. Now, end with this module. Now, here we have used one if statement also, new one. As well as, now we have used one operator that is equal. And we have used a special uh, uh, that is a behavior model uses with always as well as the its control expression and a special type of output can be stored in the register compulsory we have to use in the behavior model I think all of you have followed with how to write using behavior model with the key always as well as the register ok now this I have taken one example for 2 to 1 line multiplexer. Then one more example we can go with another that is behavioral for 4 to 1 line multiplexer. Here again it is written what is the name okay in the comment line. We need to see here when you are taking 4 to 1 marks I have to give 4 inputs here okay. Four inputs we may represent by its a decimal value 0, 1, 2, 3. Four inputs then you will have 2 because it is a 2 to the power n. n is 2 that is nothing but a select lines. Here it do, both are select lines that is it may be s1 yes and this may be s2. Yes okay. 2 to the power 2, totally we will get 4 inputs. Here 4 inputs, here 2 select lines. This indicates for a select line. Okay. Now, this whatever indicates for this. Okay. And its output will be a single line. That is, multiplexer will have only single. Because of that, many inputs to single output. That many stand for 2 to the power n. Depends upon that. We are classifying how to write its, uh, that is a statement for the 4 to 1 marks. Okay. Now, depends on that, this is the uh, symbol we have represented by that we key and implement here a 4 to 1 using behavioral model. Same thing, model, name of the model, marks, it is a 4 to 1 behavioral, that's why I have used with, this is the name of the uh, program then I have written with open parenthesis in that I have to specify the input variables as well as the output variables. Now I am using output variable first I have to define because of that output variable output should be stored in register because it is a behavioral model because of that I am using directly here only register also you can use in that output only. Now what is our y will be the output. y means here in our case m out will be used. Ok comma. What are the input I need to specify? Input. How many are they? 0, 1, 2, 3. Here we are used in 0, in 1 because we cannot use 0, 1, 2, 3. Variable should be declared with the alphabets because of that I cannot write 0, 1, 2, 3. I have to write with the alphabets. That's why it is an input 0, input 1, input 2 and input 3. That we are represented as a 4 variables. Comma. And one more input that is S1. Select lines. S1 and the S2. I have to define by a vector. Because of that it starts with 0 to 1. We are writing 0 as well as the one year range. Select is a input because of the select line. And terminate with the, it is parenthesis ended with the semicolon. That defines the port list for the 4 to 1 multiplexer. Always, okay. Always at, okay. Here many inputs are there. Because of that I cannot use the operator. In previous case I have shown how the R directly, it is a 1 bit, either 0 or it may be 1. Now depends upon that, no need to 
take with any other options. Directly I have written. Here we have more. Now more number of combinations I may get. Depends upon that I have to select. Because of that I am using here as a case statement. Okay. It is called as a case statement. Okay. Now here always at. Okay. Now how many are there inputs? 4 that is in 0, in 1, in 2, in 3. Okay. All 4 I have to define the variables. Another is select. Select is defined with the vector. Just write the select. And end with its parenthesis. No semicolon. Semicolon cannot be there. Okay. Remember that. It cannot have the semicolon. Later, I have to use the case statement to execute with all the different. When the input changes, it goes with output will make an interpretation. Now, because of that, we can consider our case statement starts with the keyword case. In that, I have to select what is the condition. Now, depends on the select value only, it will select either 0 or it is a 1, 2 or 3. Depends upon that. Because of that, we are writing condition will be written with select. Okay. Now, how to specify? It is a vector. It is a 2 bit. Okay. Now, because of that, 2 bits, how I need to represent? It is a 2 bit, 2 dash. Okay. 2 dash, that is what it indicates, it is a 2 binary bits, its value will be 0, 0. 2 binary bits, okay, its value will be 0, 0. When select line is having 0, 0 as a value, yes 1 and yes 2, for example, I have taken there. Now, depends upon that, max out will be considered as 0. Now, max out is equal to in value will be 0. Now, because whatever it stores, it should be assigned to as this. Okay. Same thing. I have to define the next value. Next value again, 2 bit binary digits, its value. Next combination. If 2 bits are there, either 0, 0 or 0, 1 or 1, 0 or 1, 1. These are the combination, 4. Now, because of that, if I am taking next bit will be represented its value as a 0, 1. Then I am assigning its max out is equal to in value will be 1. Same thing, next I am changing to dash that is 2 binary bits represented with the value as a 1, 0. Then it is 2 in the uh, list. Now, it will select with this one. Then goes with the last. Last is nothing but 2 to the power. It is indicates as a not power. It is a 2 dash. What it indicates? It is a 2 bits. That is a binary bits. B indicates binary bits. Both are 1, 1. Then value will be assigned. Max out is equal to in 3. Now what it is representing here? In as a 3. Now depends upon that. It will assign with its value. Depends on that we need to know what the exact value assigned depending on the selection. Now end case always is not having end with the semicolon same thing case is having just in the parenthesis a condition it is not also ending with any semicolon again remaining or whatever declared those are ended with the semicolon end case how end module, end primitive, end table are they? Here also we have end case. Okay. Case statements are over. That's why we have to end case. Again end case is not terminated with the semicolon. End the module. Again it does not terminate with the semicolon. This how it works with the behavior model for 4 to 1 multiplexer. I think all of you followed how to write with the three different modeling that is a gate modeling 
and uh, gate modeling uses with uh, gate primitives as well as the user defined primitives depends upon that you can write the program for either multiplexer or it is a adder next goes for the another that is the second one what we are calling it is a data flow model which as, uh, uh, reads with one keyword called as a assign it is uh, written for the many boolean expressions now depends upon that we can write with the data flow model whatever either it is a adder or it may be multiplexer using with the assign key how we have written a uh, both adder as well as the multiplexer the last one that is a behavior model which uses a special key call it as a always always will be taken with does not terminate with the uh, semicolon it is having special symbol call it as a at in that particular you may list the set of inputs or any expression it may be present and it whenever you use always we may use a special symbol that is called as a register we are using register is a special the output will be stored target output output will be stored in the register we have used some special that is operators conditional operators concatenation operator if uh, some statements if as well as the case i think all of you have followed thank you